Hi, this is Srishta Chopra, your math learning strategist. Um, we're going to be talking about order of operations. Please take a look at these characteristics of order of operations. The first thing you always try to do is brackets, then exponents, then multiplication and division starting from left to right, whichever comes first. And then finally, addition and subtraction, again, from left to right, whichever comes first. So we're going to take an example and try this problem. So you notice that because we need to do brackets first, you will notice some brackets here. Inside the brackets, we're going to work on, again, in the same order as what was mentioned, bracket first exponents, multiplication and division, and finally, addition and subtraction, okay? So inside the brackets, you notice that the, we find there is no more brackets, there is no exponents, but we do see some multiplication. So that's the first thing we'll do. We'll start, and we're going to write everything else as is, and do 4 times 2, which is 8. Okay, let me keep the negative there. Now, what else is left inside the brackets? Because we are still on number 1 brackets. Um, 10 minus 8, which is going to be 2. So we'll do that. And then, now we are done with the brackets. But notice what this is, 2 and brackets 2. When there is no sign between a number and a bracket, then that means there is a multiplication. So this is actually 2 multiplied by 2. So again, according to our order of operations, after brackets, if there are no exponents, we move on to either multiplication or division, whichever comes first from left to right. So we notice that multiplication is there. So 2 times 2, 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. And then what is left is 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, let's try one more. Now, if you look at this again, according to our order of operations, we just need to do brackets first. So, of course, we see these brackets. Now, see, these brackets are nested because we have one bracket and then we have another bracket. So, we always do bracket within the bracket first. So, the smallest bracket has to be worked on first. So we are actually going to be working on this bracket first. Inside this brackets, we're again going to do the same thing. Do we see any other brackets inside the small bracket? No, but then what comes next is exponents. Do you see any exponents? No. So what do we see next is multiplication and division. So, because multiplication comes first from left to right, we're going to work on that first. So, let's write down everything as is until we reach the point that we need to be working on, and that is multiplication. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, and then we'll keep the division intact and close the brackets as it was before. Again, Moving forward, doing the same thing because now that multiplication is done within the small bracket, the division needs to be done, which is 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then we close the bracket. Then moving on once more, what is left inside the small bracket is just the addition. So we're going to work on that. 4 plus 3 is 7. And now, Look what we have been we left with. We are done with the small bracket, but we still are left with the brick bracket. So we're going to work on that, which is going to be 10 plus 7, which is 17. And then we are, again, left with multiplication. 2 times 17 is 34. And then ne negative 3 plus 34 is 31. And that's the answer.